Good evening. Got a craft by Kim. Kim is here for sure. How's everybody this evening? I barely made nine o'clock, huh? Well, I had two heaters going, one in the living room, one down here in the basement, and circuit breaker went off, so we had to, I couldn't get in the room because of my stuff and boxes. So I waited for the old man to come back, and he took care of it for me, yay. But um, we're going to get started. This welcome sign. Isn't it pretty? Sunflowers. I don't know why. I always go live. You can't never find us in the live. But I can always find us in the group. So welcome, welcome. We're going to get started here. I'm going to try to keep up with you guys. And I pre-cut all of the ribbon. You've seen me do that many times. I'm going to, I cut some of the mesh, but I am going to finish cutting it. I have five pieces because we're going to do 12. So let me bring you in a little closer. And this is the color mesh I'm going to use. I think it's going to go pretty with the sign as well. I was going to do burlap mesh. Um, I was going to do this one, which actually is the same color as the background of the sign. But I changed my mind. I wanted to make it a little brighter. So let's come on in. Come in and say hello. I've cut the mesh at, look at the ribbon. <gasps> Stunning. I cut the mesh at 18 inches and I'm using the rotary color this time and I've used this mesh before so I figured I'd finish it out and this is what it is I'll put that here for you all right it's 10 by 10 I'm cutting in it's 10 in width and 10 yards but I'm cutting them 18 inches. And we're going to do the simple pancake method, which is really easy. A lot of times I cut it at 20 inches. But today, I'm going to finish 18. So this is a regular rotary cutter. Find this at any craft store, any sewing store. All right. So I have five more pieces to do. So that's one. <clears throat> so how was everybody's day? Mine was good. I don't know if I mentioned mine was in the hospital. But she's doing well. They're going to kick her out tomorrow. She had a little episode of a little blackout. I think I mentioned that in the last slide. I'm not sure if I did or not. But um, the doctor said... The medication, her high blood pressure medication, was a little too strong for her. And then she hadn't eaten much that day. So it, it, it had a little effect on her. So she's fine. Tested negative for COVID. So she's doing well. And guess what? I did not know. So that's four. I have one more. I did not know that you, they will not let you in the hospital. She's in the Penn Presbyterian or any hospital unless you're fully vaxxed. Get vaccinated, y'all. And you have to show proof. So, so I cut the mesh at 18. And again, like I said, we're gonna do pancake method. All right. We're gonna put our five here. I have the other seven down here in my little box. Alright. And thanks to Miss Mel 
Scruggs. I'm sincerely afraid of mom. I think I mentioned her before when I showed you this pancake method. And the pancake method was designed to, two, three, four, five, six, designed to fit it between two doors. That's why it's flat. So we are going to do it flat. And I'm going to start right on the crossbar here. And I'm going to, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to do it right at the crossbar on the first two. Yep. And we give it a couple twists. So, let me see what size is this frame. About a 14 inch frame. And you can find 14 inch frames at the Dollar Tree. So again, we're just going to go around and do all of the crossbars first. Beautiful day, y'all. It was so nice. I was glad to get outside, outdoors. Yeah. So how was your day? Let me know. Much as but I appreciate you guys for stopping by. So again, we're gonna we're doing it on the cross. See if I can bring y'all a little bit closer so you can see. So the crossbar, we're just gonna do it on one and two. We're gonna go right through the second one. Measure it even and give it a couple good twists. Now the next six, so it's only going to be 12 pieces of mesh. The next six is going to go on three and four bar, these two. And it's going to go in the middle of the two crossbars. All right. So I, don't, I wonder, if, has anybody noticed um, that it's staying lighter longer? Staying light or longer. You know what that means. That spring is on the horizon. Yep, so we're going to put it right in between these two. Bring them up and give them a couple of twists. And then I like to lay them flat out of the way towards the middle because we're going to work on the outside first. So how did you guys like my tulip wreath? It's on a grapevine. Grapevine wreath is like uh, made of grapevine, actual grapevine. Let me show you. So this is what your grapevine wreath looks like. Actual grapevine. I, I love that tulip wreath and uh, greenery. Yep. Yeah. Most of the reason I do, unless someone inboxes me, I put it in my Etsy store right away. <clears throat> Take my pictures. Yep, put them in the store. So, uh, nothing else is going on with me. And they limit the visiting hours now because of COVID, which is a good thing, I guess. All right. So this time I'm gonna put my sign on the left side, but so I'm gonna prep that. All right. Oh, I guess what, you know, let me show y'all something I want. Okay. <clears throat> I bought me some stickers. I don't know if you can see that up close or as a light in the way. So let's see this. Can you see that one? Is that cute? Oh my God. I'm so proud of myself. And these, can you see? It's my logo with the website on it. So everything that I make now gets one of these on the back of the reef or the form. So look, I put one on this one. Oh, yep. 
So let's prep this with our little uh, sticks. You know, the sticky that goes on the back. Let me get two green Chanel stems. Let me know what y'all think about my little stickers. I love them. One of them took, when I first found them, one of them took a, a month to get it, the small ones. And when I looked, because I love them so much to order them again, they didn't have any more. They weren't taking no more orders. But I found, you see, the second ones were a little bit bigger, and they came in like a week. I'm so happy. Good thing to order if you hand make things. You can put them, uh, your little stickers on the back. So let's, uh, put our little prep this sign. So towards the end. So I'm just taking the stick. I'm adding a little bit of Gorilla Glue in my hot glue gun and sticking it on the back. That's all I'm doing. This is for the sign to go through. so I can attach the sign to the reefer. And now I'm going to trim the outside, I'm sorry, glue the outside to give it some extra security. Yeah. That's all. So when we finish, it'll be ready to attach. Nice and dry, although it doesn't take the glue long to heal, to cure. That's it. Sit that to the side. And let's get popping or working. If I do not own the rights to that music, if you can hear it. So, remember, it's not curled up when you do the pancake, it's curled down. So this is like a green moss colored mesh. And guess what? Just like most of the petals, we're gonna fold and scrunch it up the middle. Okay? And we're just gonna make it like that butterfly look. All right? And we're gonna sit it right in the center of that Chanel stem. Give it a couple good twists. And the mesh again is cut at 18 inches. And we're going to overlap the ends and push it up. Pull out those Chanel Chanel stems so I can get to it when I get ready to put my ribbon on. This time I'm going to use three ribbons. Alright, see how I'm pushing it up from under to make it flat? Alright, let's do the next one. Straight up the middle. Curl down. So if you're going to see this in replay, hashtag replay and share it on your page. And invite some of your friends to join the group. Yep. So we're doing all the crossbars first. And then we're going to take it, the two ends, and overlap because we do want this to be fresh. And we're gonna push it up in the middle, all the way around, so it can, can be flat, flat, just like a pancake. Okay? I'm gonna keep it going, I'm not gonna keep you long. All right? Fold. Again, I call it a pleated fold. 
or you could call it a scrunch. And we're going to continue to go straight up the middle. So it would be a new week. Some people start their weeks on Sunday. Some people start their weeks on Monday. But however, it is a new week. And this week is going to be a new month. How about that? We're going to push it down and twist it right here in the center. Give it a couple good twists. And we are going to keep our chenille stems in sight. We're going to overlap the mesh ends, push it up. Same thing. Overlap and push it up. I like to push it down. I know I like to play with my chenille stem for everything. Work it out. It, it actually does help guide your mesh, your ribbon. You know I go underneath and squeeze it together and give it a little poof for the mesh as well. You guys, I have to get me a bigger uh, gigabyte, megabyte, a larger desktop, I'm sorry, laptop with more gigs because I ran out of space on my little one here. So I'm not able to download my videos to put them on YouTube. I tell you. So I am squeezing the center tight. I'm holding it as tight as I can and I'm trying to make it as even as I can. So when I put it inside the chenille stem, The butterfly wings will be even. Like that term? Butterfly wings. Or the bow tie. Yep. So I'm going to push it down the mesh and give it a couple good twists. And then I'm going to overlap the mesh and push it up. Overlap and push it up underneath. Okay, I think we got two more because it's going to be six on the outside and six on the inside. So we have two more to go on the outside. These are going to go done. So actually, when I'm not live, I'm actually still working. Sounds crazy, right? So you see me pulling, and I'm bringing it around. Pulling it, and I'm using the other fingers to bring the mesh to me. It's like a little pleat. I always call it my little pleated skirt. In the middle, making sure my Butterfly wings are equal. So yeah, I decided to use uh, three ribbon tails. Isn't that crazy? We're gonna see how that turns out. Yep, so I'm holding that mesh and I'm gonna give it actually a push down and three good twists. And then I'm gonna overlap it. So it's football on today. You know, I've got I've gotten out of sports. I don't know who's in the playoffs. I know our home team isn't. <laughs> but whatever. Alright. Nice and flat, right? So I have one more for the outside. inch cuts. Let's see if I can see that. 
the Jets. So. Imaginary mirror. And we just want to clean it up. Yeah. And bring it around. I'm holding it really tight in the middle. squeeze, making sure my ends are pretty even, and then I'm going to put it right in that two mil stomach. So I was, like I said, I went out today, and I thought it was beautiful out, or maybe I just needed the fresh air, because I think the last time I was out was Friday when I walked the cups. Yep, so we're going to overlap. We're going to push it up. I'm going to push this Chanel stem down to make it, help make it flat. Now we have completed our six on the outside. See that? And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my six tails on the outside. Three, four, five. six in place, a little clip that I got from the Dollar Tree. All right, so look everybody, I'm going to try three ribbon. This natural green, this beige and white, which actually matches the trim on the side. If you look on the outside of the sign, see that ribbon matching? All righty. So we're going to do the same. I fold it in half. I cut my tails. And guess what? I'm going to stack it just a little bit. All right. Can you see that three? Just a little bit of hair. And I'm scrunching right up the middle. I don't know why I decided to do three. But I'm trying three ribbons. Three ribbon tails today, y'all. Uh, and we're going to sit there right in the middle of each Chanel stem. And give it, I'm giving it three good twists. And I'm not going to use them anymore, so I'm going to cut them off. Trash can over here. And I'm going to tuck out of the way. So we're going to do one here. I just want to see how it's going to look. One up here. One down here. One up here. And the two green ones want to go on the side. How about that? That looks pretty decent, huh? What do you think with the three? All right. Let's keep it moving. To me, it doesn't really matter which way you stack them, but I wanted to go on top because of the sunflower. And I think I'm going to put a sunflower in the center of the bow when it's all finished. I have my little sunflowers over here. So I'm going to put them in the center, give it three twists. We'll cut these off and tuck them. And then you know I'll mess with the ribbon after we finish with the wreath. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna like this, those three. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the outside. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the middle, the inside ring. with uh, the mesh. Trying to make sure we are straight here and scrunch it right up the middle. So we're not going to dip. How do you say, the old folks used to say dibble dabble? We'll give it three twists. And 
and cut them. Cut them and tuck them. Yep. And go underneath and kind of give them a little. Yep, there you go. But at the end, I'm going to spread them out. You know how I have to spread them out. So nothing else. Nothing else. I stacked them. Scrunch it right up the middle. Put that ribbon on. Give it three good twists. And cut them off. And tuck. Tuck them out the way. Let me see. I can find my. here so when we get going I'm just trying to pull them up through the middle of two all right so I can be able to find them easily <clears throat> so I have two more so here we go let me show you I'm just going to stack them about a, a little less than a quarter of an inch with top can y'all see that? See how I'm stacking? And then I'm just going to scrunch them up the middle. Yeah, you just sit them in here. You twist three times. And tuck the ends. stems out of here. Push that back down. There we go. The next one, I'm, I'm just opening up the mesh in the middle of the two pieces and bringing it up. That's all. That is it. That's the inside ones I'm referring to. So I have easy access to them when I come to them. So we have one more on the outside, the ribbon tails, stack them just a little bit, and squirt them up to the middle. Give it three good twists. The inside rings, three and four. And we're going to sit that mesh right on top of it. I want to get them all up before I start putting the mesh in. So I won't be searching for them. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> Don't laugh. This is going to be a simple, everyday, spring, summer, and into fall, actually, reef. Yep. All right, let's get our mesh together here. I think that's going to be nice. So is everything opening back up tomorrow? I know that I think they closed a little early. Friday, what did they? Scared of the snow. We didn't get that much. Right here, Atlantic City got 18 inches. No way. And then further south, didn't get any. Yep. Scrunching right up the middle.
squeezing that center tight, making sure I got a good grip on it, making sure my ends are about even. And we just want to sit this right into the center of the, the next inside, three and four. Yep. Give me a good twist, three and four rings, or rungs, if you want to say. We're going to overlap these two as well. Bring it up in the middle. I'm going to push down on the center of the chenille stone so it can be flat. All right, let's keep it moving. I do not own a rights to that music, y'all, if you can hear it. I hope you can hear it. It's easy. <coughs> All right. Let's keep it coming. My, f my favorite part is, part is the bow. I heard someone say that that is like a... The earrings to top it off or the dressing. How about we'll say the dressing? Because when you have a turkey, it's not any, even really good without the dressing, right? Haha. So the bow, we're going to tighten this up really tight. Give it three good twists. This is the inside I'm working on. The mesh is still 18 inches. And I'm going to still overlap. And I'm still pushing up. Push that mesh down. The chenille stem, sorry. Yep. Give it a good push up. So the bow of a reef. Uh -oh. Looks like one of my screws came out. Let's see if that's where it was. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to play with that later. That's the only place I see a screw missing. Unless I look in the mirror, I see a lot of screws missing. Don't laugh. Yep. All right, let's keep it pushing. We're scrunching straight up the middle, making our little pleats, and making our little bow tie butterfly. I like, uh, for you guys to let me know what would you like for me to make? What would you like for me to see me make? I would be very glad to do it, if I could. If it's something that I can do, make some suggestions. Put in the comments uh, under this video, in the video, and let me know. So we're gonna give it a couple of squeezes, three twists, and we're going to do our overlap and our tuck. Elated. Got my two 
some new things out of here. And the city's right in the middle. And give it a couple good twists. Overlap the two ends. When you get it out, there it is. And no matter what mess you use, guys, like I said many, many times, the more you tout with it and the more you play with it, it will definitely fray. But once you stop, it will stop. All right, we got two more. Yes, yes. Got a little dry, guys. All right, so it's curl side down. Let me put this one here. We'll just do it one more time, right from the end. We're gonna do our fold, fold, and bring the mesh to you. Fold. Yep, scrunch it right up the middle your imaginary line. And hold, oh, take hold. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to sit it right in the middle. good twist tight. Push it down three good twists. And overlap. opposite. One more. Yeah. I have another method for doing the mesh and I cannot wait to do it. Probably on Maybe Wednesday, guys. I'll come on and show you how to do it. So we're going to overlap and tuck. Overlap and tuck. All right, let's do the rest of our tails. Switch it up because of that light. <coughs> Excuse me, and put it on this side so you'll be able to see a little bit better. Maybe. Get my little notification off of there. So there we go. So we're going to stack just a little bit right in the middle, and we're just going to scrunch it up the middle. I'm sweating, y'all. Uh-oh. Does that mean it's that time of year? The time of season? No. I'm just glad. We may turn some of this heat off I got down here. Three good twists. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to cut it off. And tuck these ends here.
So I use, like I said, I use three tails in each tie this time. Yeah. Actually, one of them actually matches the mesh. If you can see the green. And the one in the middle that checkered matches the edges on the side, which is so cute. Straight up the middle, scrunch, and then I'll push up underneath, give it a little twirl, and sit it right in the center. Things get better really soon. So that we can actually start doing some in person classes once again. But we are trying to do that Zoom. I want to sit down the next two days and try to figure it out. I'll be posting a question as to what you guys want to do, what type of wreath, or what you want to do for the Zoom. That way I would get an idea of what we need to order. Alright, so I'll be uh, probably doing a little survey in the group. Let's so, you guys can give me some information, some feedback, so I know what to do. All right. All right, that was our last swimming pills. and flat guys. Trying to get my tails right. That didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> so like I said, I use three different ribbon for the tail. So we're going to spread them out. I think I'm going to put that one down. have to tug at them for me from the 
chenille stem here to make them form like you want. You see me pulling them down? So I'll be finishing them up though before I take pictures. Y'all know. But I just wanted to see what we were doing here. So if you have them in your chenille stem really good, good, you shouldn't have any issues with uh, pulling on them to separate them. Alright? And that's what it's going to be looking like. We're going to get that sign on here. So, uh, here we go. I didn't get them all out. I just wanted to give you an idea of where we're going. Alrighty. So that's what it's going to be looking like. Which is actually really pretty. Very farmhouse cottagey. <clears throat> Simplistic. All right, I'm gonna stop right now. All right, so there we go. All right, let's look at this sign. Let's see what it looks like in the center. Or up the top left and then a nice bow. Or in the center. Over here, let me see over here. That's where I always put that, y'all. So let's try over here at the top. Okay. I think I found my place. So we're going to put it right over here. And. Got to get my tails out the way. And I'm going to put it right through here. Okay, y'all, help me out. Now I know I'll be struggling on this part. I'm going to go right through the mesh. Make sure it's good and sturdy. All right, that's one. Yeah. I'm straighten it back out so get my tail out the way. And then there it comes. Alright. So I got one side. I'm not gonna tighten it tight because I want to do that other piece. Let me get my tails out. Here, and so that's about it right there. All right, it's trying. I think I need it over just a little touch more. Got it. Get the top one in. And we'll be in business. Not so bad today. There we go. Here we go. Give it a couple good twists. And that one too.
Now we're gonna make our bow. I'm not gonna play too much with the ribbon, y'all. I promise. Y'all know I don't tell the truth all the time, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to make a bow, and we're going to sit the bow down right in this area, right over here. All right, let's get it popping. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to leave the green out. What y'all say? All right. All right, so let's do an eight inch tail. That'll be long enough. They're not pretty. And Six inch loop. How about that? There we go. So we're going to do two. <clears throat> we're just going to do one. Six inches. And we're going to put our tail up there. Now I think I'm going to make them all come down because, no, the first one, yes. Let's go up. Not too long, but I don't want to cut my sunflower. See it? Kept that hole. All right, put that out the way. Let's do it. Check. Make sure my six inches and six inches. All right. Eight inch tail. And this is definitely wired edge. We will make this six inches too. And this is one sided. So, sorry guys. So we have to twist six inches. So we can have it the right side up. All right. All right, let's do the yellow on the top. Six inches. Okay. We notice I only put the floral one up top, right? So we're going to go one more time with the ribbon. One more time. We're going to do it at five. The loops are going to be at five inches this time. 
So anytime you do a bow, you want to decrease your loops as you go. So the bigger one could be at the back and the smaller ones up front. Okay. Trying to leave my flower as whole as possible. All right, guys, we got the check. Same thing, five inches. The goal for our center pretty cute, huh? Not a big bow, not with a lot of tails, because we got enough ribbon on the wreath itself, okay? So we didn't need a lot of a long tails. I think I'm going to make hmm. We don't want to overpower the flowers itself. Alright. So let's do one more goal and make it at We're going to make one up here. And we're going to make this at Let's say three and a half so we can have a little something in the center okay to be a little bit smaller. Y'all know I'm working on my bows. Trying to make it look as pretty as I can. Because bow making is just simply an art, y'all. Just simply an art form. Alright. Let's get us. Zip tie, and we'll be finished. So, like a long one. So, we're going to go underneath all of the ribbons and put our zip tie in. And try to secure it, but not tight, so we can lift it out and place it in the center. All right, there we go. I heard that little ruffle. <clears throat> so you see the center right here where I'm going to move it over? All right. So I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. And... 
glue it over, make sure they are stacked on top of one another. See that little indentation? That's where I want it to be. All right. Let me get my little pulleys. Everything was to hide from me today. No, no, I got a mess, mess, mess. Here you go. So that one's supposed to be up. And one of the other ones. All right. Now we're going to put our Chanel stem around it. <clears throat> Excuse me, and attach it to our wreath after we cut our dovetails. Okay, got a dovetail. Fold it in half cut from the folded side to the open side and the deeper you hold your scissors on or the higher up towards the end is the deeper your V in your dovetail. All right. This sunflower is pretty. It's color. The ribbon. Very pretty. Remember, I didn't make a long, long tails because it has a lot of ribbon on it already. Just enough to show off the ribbon and the reef. Better. Just making sure I got all of my tails. How about that? Oh, looks like we did it all. Mm -hmm. All right. And last but not least, Let me make sure I have the right one up top. Oh, excuse me, y'all. No, it's that one. It's that one. I'm oh, going to use that one. Yes, I'll talk to myself. How many of you talk to yourself? Don't even try it, y'all do. You certainly do. <laughs> Give it a couple of good twists before we attach it to our reform. And here we go. Yep. Let me move this out the way. There we go. I'm going to put it right here. And move these other ribbons over so we can have some there as well. All right, y'all know. Here's my struggle. All right, let's 
get it through. Got one in. Wow. Go to. Get that other one in. We'll be in business. Let's see. We'll move it over here a little bit. I want it in a certain place. Come on. It's working. And I pulled it out. Don't go. Talking to the other one, y'all. It would the last one. The last one. I got it. I got it. Yes. So let's turn it. Because it's going to go right there. And give it a couple good twists. And then we can fluff our bow. That. And we're going to start on the bottom. Oh, guess what I see? A ribbon with no tail. So let's do it. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. make some music so I can play music while we while I'm working how about that and you guys know I will be adjusting readjusting and Playing, doing all kinds of things with the ribbon and make sure it looks just peachy. Right? Did y'all see how I pulled that chenille stone so it could be where it's supposed to be? But you get the just look at that bow. <clears throat> just look at that bow. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, I'll hang this up tomorrow on the door. Take some pictures and post it. I don't know if I should put a daisy in the middle, but that's what it's looking like. And I really, really like it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hmm. Let me bring it out some so y'all can see it all. Look at that. Yeah, if I have some, you know, ribbon to be playing with, I know I'll be missing to get it just perfect for you. Making sure they all are showing. So nice. So let me show you what I was going to do with the uh,
flower. I'm not sure if I need one. But I have some here. And I was going to put one in the middle of the bow, but I don't think it needs one. cut it just to get a look see let me cut it in the middle here only in the middle so you seen it with the without the, the flower in the middle what you think about the flower in the middle? You put a stop. It's lopsided. You twist this. Huh? Does that take away from it or does that make it look a little bit nicer? Let me know in the comments, okay? All right. That's it for tonight. I certainly appreciate you stopping by. Even if you're watching the replay, let me know what you think in the comments, especially about the flower. With or without, let me know. Have a great night. Got a craft by Kim. If you're watching replay, hashtag replay, please. And share it with your friends. Have a good night.